Hi, this is Dr. Johnny Ellis, MD, and thanks for joining me on How I Lost 100 Pounds.com. It's winter time here in Chicago, but that means I have on my thermal underwear so I can actually get outside and stay active and not become a total couch potato when the weather gets bad. Uh, a couple of things on my mind today. Number one, we had a post recently that talked about the benefits of green tea. I green, drink green tea every day. Uh, I don't sweeten it. I know that's hard for a lot of people to fathom or stomach, but sweet, uh, uh, sorry, green tea has ingredients that seem to retard Alzheimer's and have beneficial effects on fat burning and metabolism, etc. So I love to drink green tea. I stop around five o'clock in the evening. Otherwise, the caffeine in there may keep me up. Uh, there is caffeine in green tea, less than in regular tea, but there is caffeine. Okay, so what we're talking about here today is why you need to read your labels and why when you go to the supermarket, if you buy stuff in the interior of the store, it is likely that you will be fooled. For example, let's look at this here. This is 100%, and it's reversed here, 100% uh, all whole grain, 100% uh, whole wheat bread by Buttersweet. Think this is good, right? Think if you're diabetic, this would be a good choice of bread to buy, right? But you got to read the ingredients. And when I read the ingredients here, you see here that the first ingredient is 100% whole grain, whole wheat flour. The second ingredient is water. The third ingredient is corn syrup. Uh-oh, corn syrup. What's that? basically sugar. So the third ingredient in here is sugar. The first five ingredients, if one of those is sugar, evaporated cane syrup, high fructose corn syrup, that is something that's not good for you. So if you think you're making a good choice by getting whole grain bread, it has been subverted by the addition of sugar by the manufacturer. Let's look at another label. This is Special K. And you might think, oh, Special K, Special K is healthy. Well, one of the things that's a giveaway here to me that this is not necessarily the best choice is that they decide to enhance it. It's colorful, and they tell you it has fruit and yogurt added. What happens when we read the label here? First ingredient is rice, and we know that white rice contributes to diabetes more than brown rice. The second ingredient is whole grain wheat. The third ingredient is sugar. Duh! This may be called Special K, but I would not call this a healthy cereal to eat. Bottom line, folks, is that if you buy prepared food, it is in general been altered in ways to make you want to eat more and more uh, and not be the healthiest for you. You have to read labels. And if you see that the first five ingredients include sugar, evapor evaporated cane syrup, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, HFCS, that is not something that I recommend if you want to lose weight. Thanks for joining me on 100pounds.com and howtolose100pounds.com and I look forward to sharing more episodes with you.